to nine rules of the ball in Tiger style. Some styles have rules, warnings, or prohibitions the students are required to remember. This is one of them, and there will be a test. Rule number one. With the single character of subtle patience, meaning repay your sovereign country. Sovereign country in this case refers to the community of people who help and support you rather than a particular country or government. Repay them with subtle patience means to put up with hardships, quietly gather information that can be helpful to them, and survive as long as you can. This is drastically different from some other samurai or military styles that teach kill or be killed. After all, if you're dead, you can't help anybody. Rule number two. Persevere without regard for your own self. Don't hold fear for your future death. In other words, be selflessly diligent and focus on the present time that you have some control over, rather than borrowing on worries or fears from the future. Rule number three. In times of increasing danger, don't say anything. Leave not one bit of evidence. If trouble is coming, panicking, yelling, or getting scared will only make things worse and focus attention on you. Don't want that so much. Rule number four. As tough opponents come, know an unshakable heart. In other words, don't get scared or confused. Just focus on the situation at hand and watch for up openings when the opponent attacks. Rule number five. In dealing with teachers and parents, make yourself useful. That way they have more time to help you and you look better to the community around you. Always a good thing. Rule number six. Those drowning in lust or vices risk losing their proficiency. Variety may seem like the spice of life, but it's hard work and study that makes you better at the things you want to do. Rule number seven. Those drowning in alcohol lose the benefits of proficiency. Some of the greatest warriors in history could still be captured if you got them drunk enough to pass out. Now there are some styles, drunken kung fu and drunken boxing and the like, that encourage using such substances to loosen you up. However, taken for long term, they damage your muscles and your constitution. This also applies to modern recreational substances. Rule number eight. In facing an opponent, steal their fighting strength. It's an issue, so don't steal their life. If someone is killed or badly beaten, the authorities or their friends will be looking for the one that did. If someone turns up missing, there will be searches. On the other hand, if they're barely bruised and knocked out, they'll have trouble convincing people there was a fight, especially if they reek of alcohol. Rule number nine. Unauthorized teaching isn't allowed. This has been the most broken rule in history, and the 28th Grand Master has published the information from his inherited scrolls for this and other styles he holds titled to in a book he hopes will be used as a reference for martial artists to study and teach from. So it's largely been negated. Nonetheless, showing off what you know can get you into trouble from...